hey everyone welcome to my channel i hope everyone is doing great and having a good day so far it's a rainy day it's slightly raining right now and it's uh really muggy today high humidity here in mississippi but it's nice so far it's nice anyways guys uh today of course i have international lt 625 2018 automatic transmission 10 speed ultra shift eaten i got x15 cummins engine the fuel efficiency and guys it's a big change for me i drove freightliner detroit engine i drove volvo uh, but so far this is my best truck and best engine I had. The transmission, huh? It's the engine brake. I don't like it, you know. But the truck by itself is really comfortable and nice. And the engine. I like Cummins X15 because it's easy to work on, guys. It's, it's not really hard, but you need tools to do this and you need to go by the steps so you don't miss anything and you need to do exactly like it says so you have to follow up with that but otherwise everything is good and easy you can do it trust me you can do it anyways i want to talk sorry about that i want to talk about today the air brake uh, the air brake valve or relay i think the relay yeah anyways whenever you drive whenever you are on a hill whenever you parked whenever your truck is on or whenever your truck is off it doesn't matter once anytime once you push on the brake brake pedal you're going to hear loud air leak you have an air leak so whenever you push on the brake pedal, you're going to hear an air leak. So you're losing air. You have an air leak somewhere and you don't know where it is. So this is what I'm going to show you where it is, an international LT. I will, I will show you how it looks also, the one responsible. All right, let me show you guys. okay of course this is the driver's side it's in the driver's side right underneath the driver okay you will have your fairings your siding you will have to take them off you will have to take them because it's in a very tight spot and it's hidden like behind behind the the battery wires the airlines it's behind so once you get underneath behind there you will see a part that there's some airlines con connected to it that part you see it's behind so this is the part that is responsible where you're going to hear the sound from there is a piece of plastic underneath there it gets cracked after a time long time and also it gets the metal gets cracked from the top and that air whenever you push it that air comes um, comes out so you have an air leak and you have to replace this part but before you replace this part make sure your fittings your hoses um, it's not leaking okay because it might be from your hoses it might be uh, one of your uh, fittings got loose or something so make sure they are tight and there is no hoses or nothing and also to make it really easy just let someone sit in your driver's side and tell him to push the brake and once he pushes it you just feel it put your hand underneath it and around around it like that and you're gonna feel it so and you're gonna know where is the leak coming from so if it's the part it's really easy there is two bolts right there 
if you see them it takes 13 millimeter socket and I'm gonna show you how to take it off so first thing what I think is easier to do remove these push to connect air fittings and let's do that okay let me hang my phone quick here to make it really hey guys This is, this is good. So now what you need to do, like I said, is push to connect. So let me wear my gloves because I don't want my hands get dirty, guys. Really got tired from this oil and grease and gets in my hands and I have to wash my hands like 10 times a day. And also, you get hard. So guys, take a picture before you do this. So you put everything back together like it was, okay? Like I said, this is push to connect. So push, push the holes. There's, let me show you, it might be. Okay, you see this black fitting here? There's a piece of metal right, let me show. There's a piece of metal behind it, like, like this one here. If you see this. Sorry guys, it's in very, it's in a very tight spot. And I wanna show you how to do this, right? You see this, this piece here? Push that, guys. Push, I mean, push it to inside. Really hard. You have to push it. And then once you push it, the, air, the, the hose will come off. Make sure you put that right once you take it, okay? So, use this. Ah, oh, see? Remember, put that everything like it was. You have to push it really hard. So this is two right there. Goes to the side. And there is two more here. That's gonna be a problem. And put some kind of pad underneath your knee so you don't get hurt. Of course, I don't have one, but yeah, it hurts, guys. It's really, it's just for safety. Safety. Let me make sure you, you can see this all. Anyways, make sure. Push the once you push it just pull your hose out it will come out by itself it's good to have a couple of them in your car in your truck with you should be it's giving me okay got it All right, I lost all of it. So two at the back, two on the side, and one front. So you have total five. You have to take out. So once you do that, get 13 millimeter socket. Let me put that there. And lose these bolts remember lefty tighty zip ties guys hurting me so got him you might go get hurt or something see anyways it's loosen up 
is there is one actually so it's two four five six hoses six air nines connected to this so there's one left there's some people here they talk loud and I don't know why but yeah Like I said, need some power to do this. Anyways, I took it out. You see, and don't worry, you got once you get the new part, you have to take your fittings with you. Okay, you will have to take all the fittings with you, put it in the new one. So, I got all the airlines out. Okay. raining today but I have to get this done this loose loose it it was both nuts oh. it's not gonna be that easy to do this but you take it to a dealer or TA or mechanic, anyone don't know this, might they charge you two hours, three hours labor. But yeah, I hope you guys learn from this. I hope this is helping you. Like me. This video is gonna be two parts. First is removing, the second is installing. I don't have the part yet, but yeah. And that's it. We're taking this part away from here. Hope to get it out now. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of rough. <laughs> that's what's happening, guys. Yeah, that's all zip ties, you see? Zip ties, just now. Okay, this is how the part looks like. You can rebuild it if you want to. Can replace the inside. That's gonna come, you know, good. And this is how it looks with the fittings. You will have to take all the fittings with you, of course, when you bring the new part. And this is the part number here. See, appendix, that's the exact right number, part number whenever you need a replacement okay and make sure your bolts you put them in a very good place so so guys this is it and uh, this is the first part and it's raining really it's raining right there. You guys see this? Oh, what happened here? It's raining. I'm gonna have to bring the replacement and install it right there, and I will show you that in part two. I hope really you like the video, and I hope this uh, helps you. And you can do this, it's really easy, but don't get hurt, okay. All right, guys, y'all have fun. Please subscribe and like if you like my videos. 
and thank you very much. I have a good one. We'll see you all next video.